Well, hello there. Did you know that 1972 was a cataclysm for mathematics education? And its aftershocks are being felt even today? Do you know why that was? And indeed, how it affects all of us even today. Well, my name is Craig Hain. My students call me Dr. Dell, and I'm going to tell you all about this in this uh, video. Well, the first thing you need to understand that is in 1972, the tools that were used to do mathematics, if you got serious about it and want to do a lot of serious practical mathematics or engineering mathematics, were things like the slide rule, which was based on something called logarithms and trig tables. And you had to learn things like what is a characteristic and mantis of a number? What is linear interpolation? And indeed, these were the tools that, while they're not usually taught in high school at that time because they were expensive and difficult, they were taught in all engineering schools and in technical schools at that time. And if you were going to become uh, some sort of a professional or even semi-professional and use mathematics, you had to learn to use these tools. And this is what the math education community uh, did. The books were written to do it. Uh, there weren't really videos back then. But the books and the classes and all of the math teachers were trained to teach these things. And they weren't easy. It took a student quite a long while to learn all the subtleties of these things and learn how to use these tools. But that was the state of affairs in 1972. You can go to Wikipedia, for example, and look up slide rule and learn all about it. And this was the tool of the day that was being used for many, many years up till 1972. And Wikipedia will tell you all about it. It involves logarithms. It's really based on the logarithms. And of course, circular slide rules would do trigonometry. And what it lets you do, essentially, was to do multiplication and division uh, much more efficiently than you could do with pencil and paper. Back in high schools in those years, they were still teaching all of the manual techniques for doing multiplication and division and any other kind of arithmetic calculation. And quite frankly, the manual techniques were difficult to master. Uh, taking a square root, for example, was quite arduous. Taking a cube root was almost impossible. There were all sorts of things that were very difficult to do manually. And the slide rule was a tool that let you do it more effectively. And this was what was being taught then in 1972. So what was the cataclysm? Well, a company by the name of Hewlett Packard came out in 1972 with the world's first pocket scientific calculator. Now Hewlett Packard was famous then for making very expensive test instruments and so forth. And this really came as quite a shock when this came out. I remember I was teaching at an engineering school in 1972 when this happened, and it was really, uh, really was quite cataclysmic for the math teachers. Uh, in 1972, this calculator sold for $395. Now, in today's dollars, 2015, that would be $2,274. So it was quite expensive. It had a light emitting diode called LED display, and they were very, very primitive then, and very. Uh, consumed a lot of power, and so the battery life was only about three hours, and then you had to recharge it. It used rechargeable batteries, of course, to do that, and it was also pretty hard to use, and by today's standard, it had a fairly limited functionality, but it did do trigonometry, logarithms, all of the arithmetic operations you needed to do, and Hewlett Packard thought they were going to sell maybe 10,000 of these, and the first year, they sold 100,000. And in fact, it literally revolutionized the way uh, engineers and any kind of technical people did their arithmetic. Now fast forward until today, 2015. This is a Texas Instrument Calculator, the TI-30XA. It says it's number one brand recommended by teachers. It's certainly my favorite calculator to use when teaching algebra, geometry, and trigonometry for practical math people. And I just bought this at Walmart for $8.94. Now, $8.94 today would have been $1.56 back in 1972. So just imagine where we've come from. Came from what amounted to a very difficult to use uh, primitive calculator with a very limited uh, lifetime for its battery to, to a modern calculator with a liquid crystal display and the battery life of this is about three years. And this calculator, the TI-30XA, has much more functionality than the original HP-35 did. It's much, much easier to use. And in fact, it is the key now to getting students started with mathematics to teach them all of the practical mathematics they need for any kind of a non-professional career very quickly and very easily. 
Okay, now I want to give you a quick demonstration of something we teach our students in the Practical Math Foundation. And it's how you can use this calculator to find the area of this triangle where you know the three sides. And they're given in uh, fraction form here, as you can see. And it's very easy to do. Now, there's three or four ways to do this problem, but I like to use what I call the Generalized Pythagorean Theorem. And that leads to this very easy algorithm the students learn, and they love to do it. And here's how it goes. I've just a demonstration here. So I'm going to take 2 and 3 sevenths. Notice this is a fraction I've entered using this calculator. And I'm going to square it. And I'm going to add 4 and 5 eighths. I'm going to square that. And then I'm going to subtract 6 and 1 third squared. And I'm going to get that. Then I'm going to divide by 2 equals. And I'm going to divide by 2 and 3 sevenths equals, I'm going to divide by 4 and 5 eighths. This is what, of course, they, they're learning to do. And then this is the cosine of this angle. So I take inverse cosine, and I get this angle. Now I know to take the sine of that angle times 2 and 3 sevenths times 4 and 5 eighths times 0.5 equals, and I get 4.61. And so that is the area. And that's just how easy it is to do with a calculator. That would be extremely difficult to do this manually. And, uh, of course, I always have them check their work by taking a different angle and using these sides and doing it. And you, of course, get the same answer. Now, of course, today we can use a more modern tool to do this. We can just go to Wolfram Alpha and put an area of a triangle, put in the three sides, and it will calculate the area. And, of course, it's the same answer we got, 4.61. And in fact, Wolfram Alpha uses something called Heron's formula to do it, which I think is more difficult to do manually, but Wolfram Alpha does it. Now, if you haven't heard of Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha is actually another cataclysm. In 2009, when Wolfram Alpha was introduced to the world, it became a cataclysm for STEM math education. Now, that's a very large subject, and I will explain that very in depth to you on another video once we uh, get acquainted. So, how are we going to get acquainted? Well, here's how. If you will simply enter your name and your email address in the box or on the right, here's what I'm going to do for you. As you may know, I have a course I developed, an online course called The Foundation, that covers pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. teaches everything you need to know for practical math for a non-professional career. But we start off, of course, by teaching them how to use this tool I just told you about, the TI-30XA calculator. And here is the table of contents for this first program. It actually consists of 16 lessons, and then there are some additional optional lessons we cover later on in upper tiers. And what will happen is I will show you a video, if you opt in, that actually demonstrates all of these things. It, it isn't the training, but it will demonstrate everything that I teach and also give you a copy of the syllabus. So if you're teaching math to your student, you'll know at least what I recommend that you do. It's what I would teach them if I were teaching your student, and you can do the same thing. So just opt in, and you will get a video then. It's about a 10-minute video that explains all of the different functions that I believe that you should teach someone about this calculator. And, of course, there's a many, many other things you're going to get once you've opted in. We'll be uh, sharing a lot of information with you on our websites. We have lots and lots of videos that discuss this. And, in fact, I've written three books. This is uh, my opus, so to speak, on teaching math. It explains what is wrong with our current math curriculum uh, that everybody's trying to use today, not very successfully in most cases. And it tells all about that. Of course, this is me on the back. You can learn all about me. If you go to my website, craighain.com, you're going to get my Vita, see who I am and where I come from and uh, what my background is and why I believe what I believe. And I will give you a free copy of this book uh, in PDF format. And in fact, the other two books that I've written, you also get free copies. There's a lot of free stuff we're going to give you uh, that will help you become a much better math teacher, I would hope, because our goal is for you to give your child the best possible optimal mathematics education that current technology and educational theory uh, allows. So this is uh, Craig Hain or Dr. Dell signing off. Uh, go ahead and opt in and we'll start our relationship and help your student learn math in a very effective way.